Great, great. My name is Tuukka, and I'm your host for today and tomorrow. And without further delay, I'll let the big man himself kick off the show. So, please welcome on stage the CEO of Cute Company, Juha Varelius. Thank you, thank you. Good morning to everyone. And the uh, very warm... <laughs> Let's see if this works. <laughs> I was here two years ago and I had the uh, same experience. <laughs> okay, very well, welcome to Cute World Summit 2017. The uh, <clears throat> Cute ecosystem and Cute usage has been growing really greatly during the past year and past two years. And I think that this event is a uh, really good example of this. We are sold out. We have all over 1,000 participants over here today. And the, uh, on top of that, you guys are actually coming from 40 different countries. So four zero different countries, and you are representing 30 different industries. So this is a really, truly global event. The, uh, at this point, I want to say a very warm thank you to all our customers who will be here today sharing with you the uh, creations, what they've been doing with Qt. And I also want to say a very warm thank you to our key partners who are here today showcasing what they've done with Qt and what can be done with Qt in the future. Also, very big thanks to all cute people that have been working very hard on this. So I think that it's a time to give a, a big, big applause, big hand to our customers, partners, speakers, everyone who's been able helping us to put this show together. So. <laughs> like I said, Qt as an ecosystem and a usage has been growing, but Qt company has been growing tremendously as well. We've been investing basically all the excess gas flow back to the business, back to the product. You'll hear that more than what we've been able to accomplish. And we even raised some more money from our shareholders so that we can invest even more. So we believe in this company that the uh, Qt is really going to be big, and we're working very hard for our mission, which is getting queued everywhere. It's really, really exciting working with Qt because we are in the middle of the IoT transformation, technology transformation. We see every day in our lives that the, uh, how touchscreens are, for example, are coming everywhere. Devices are connected to the internet. And it's only a few years back, if you saw a flat screen, people were wondering, that, what is this? Nowadays, if you see a people in front of a flat screen, they're all tapping on them. And if it doesn't work, if it's not a flat uh, touch screen, they think that it's basically broken, right? It's so intuitive that the, uh, hey, this device is not working. We actually have a flat screen TV at our office in the meeting room. and the. Uh, in the mornings, I usually start wiping it clean because everybody's been tapping on it all day long, right? We also see 3D coming. 3D is making the uh, user interfaces even greater and greater. They, they are looking better. We see new, um, uh, new technologies coming into place. How do we interact with devices like augmented reality, uh, voice recognitions, and, and whatnot? You'll hear more about those in the evening or in the afternoon as well. So it's all about software, guys. It's all about software. It's all about how to differentiate with software. Good usability actually creates more value in, in uh, modern times devices than in many times than the hardware itself. And it's not only the user experience, it's a seamless user experience that we need. People value the fact that they can access software services, for example, no matter what the device is, and the user experience needs to be seamless. And that development I like very much. I actually love it because Qt happens to be the cross-platform framework. 
So we are actually in the right spot doing the right things, enabling our customers and our users to connect to the internet and create value for dev their devices. I'm going to show you now a, a short video. The, uh, it shows a, a bit that how do we see uh, future uh, user interfaces in, uh, in a car. This is an automotive example. I come from Finland, so I can make these jokes. When I first saw this, I actually thought that it was filmed in Finland because there are only two people in this video and it's all dark. But, the <laughs> but then, I, then I realized that there are a couple tall buildings, so it can't be Finland, so I wonder where it's been filmed. Well, anyway, so the, uh, it shows the, uh, some of the future user experiences, how to interact with, user, uh, with the uh, user interfaces and whatnot. So let's run the video. Movie tonight? That's a good idea. on the way. Play my music. <laughs> oh man, not that song. Yeah, so definitely not Finland. <laughs> Enabling productivity on all platforms. That's uh, one of our key promises. Qt is a uh, cross-platform tool to develop software and amazing user interfaces. And what we promise is that the, uh, you'd be a uh, very productive using Qt. We've been on a desktop business for a very long time, and over here I want to emphasize that desktop business is still a very important part of our business, and we do invest on desktop as well, where we've seen that the user interface is playing more and more important role. The, uh, later today, you'll hear a presentation from Amazon, for example, and they're going to be uh, showcasing what they've been uh, building with Qt. Probably, however, the uh, biggest change we see at the moment, the technology transformation, is happening on embedded devices. And on embedded devices, it's not enough that you have a great user experience. You need to pay attention also to the fact that you have probably a lot more developers working on it. Uh, you'll need to be able to col collaborate. You need to be able to share the same code over and over again. And you'll need to be able to develop fast. You basically need to hit the market before your competition does. And Qt enables all this. And we've been putting a lot of effort on our tooling, for example, during the last year, so that we would enable even better design and development workflow for you guys. So transforming industries. Qt fits all. It's the... Uh, we're being used, Qt is being used over in um, 70 industries probably. And like I said over here, there are like 30 industries represented here today. But on top of that, we decided a couple of years back that we want to add more value on certain industries and look at how could we do that. So we started the uh, automotive industry at Qt a uh, couple of years back. And now I'm happy to say that we work with the uh, most of top tier automotive, automotive manufacturers throughout the world globally. Qt's being used mainly on IVIs, but we are making inroads now and Qt is used also in the clusters. Our vision is that we'd like to see Qt on every screen in a car. So Qt everywhere. We actually think that it makes all the sense in the world for uh, OEMs that there'd be only one tool. The, uh, since Qt is a cross-platform and cross-industry, 
We are also putting a lot of effort in the industry automation and a medical. So we have here today, I'm really happy that we have two tracks. You're going to be hearing a lot what we've been doing on medical and, and what's specifically changing in medical industry and also in the industry automation. We're very happy about that. We're also looking forward learning more from those industries that we can further develop and look ways to make it better in these industries. So moving forward, uh, our intention is to build Qt even bigger than it is today. Like I said in the beginning, our mission is to get Qt everywhere. And the, uh, we're going to be investing, we're going to be uh, running in the forefront of this technology change, and we're really looking forward helping our customers to be successful in what they're doing with Qt. In these, in these coming two days over here, uh, I hope that you'll be able to connect and network as much as possible. You'll be able to see product live demos. You're going to be seeing what our customers have been doing with Qt, and you're going to be seeing the diversity, how good this product really is. Uh, you're also going to be getting insight into Qt, and I hope that you will gain more information how it can benefit you in the future in your work and in your industry. You're going to be hearing a lot of our talk on the, uh, how we enable future technologies. We're going to be talking about 3D. We're going to be talking about the, uh, uh, our 3D studio, which uh, I'm personally very thrilled, because that's actually going to put Qt in the hands of designers. We, we think that that's a, uh, a great step forward for uh, Qt to go. So have fun, network. Learn new things from Qt and utilize the best these two days that you have over here. Very, very much thank you seeing you all over here. I'm really excited that we've been able to arrange this summit again, and I'm really excited seeing you all guys over here. And remember, the future is written with Qt. All right, thank you, Juha.